Welcome friends. Welcome back to the AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam Preparation course. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and we will decode the answer for the AWS Certificate Exam. So the next question is. Which of the following are true about Amazon S3 RRS? So the options are. Option A. S3 RRS offers 99.99% .99 availability. Option B. S3 RRS offers 99.999999 durability. Option C. S3 RRS offers 99.99% .99 durability. Option D. S3 RRS is most often used with reproducible objects. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option A. C and D. Because the truth about S3 RRS. Reduced redundancy storage, RRS, enables customers to reduce their costs by storing non-critical. Reproducible data at lower levels of redundancy than Amazon S3 S standard storage. Let's move to next question. So the next question is. The customer service organization at your company just told you that a client's purchase from your website was processed twice. Your order process involves EC2 instances processing messages from an SQS queue. What changes might you make to ensure this does not happen again? So the options are. Option A. Rewrite the order processing workflow to use SWF. Rather than SQS. Option B. Increase the visibility timeout on the SQS queue. Option C. Switch to long polling. Option D. Manually delete the order after processing. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. So the right answer is option A. An SWF workflow ensures that actions are executed only once. Let's move to next question. So the next question is. True or false? By default. Amazon RDS enables automated backups of your DB instance with a one-day retention period. So the options are. Option A. True. Option B. False. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option A. True. By default and at no additional charge. Amazon RDS enables automated backups of your DB instance with a one day retention period. Let's move to next question. So the next question is. State true or false. It is best practice to use access keys whenever possible. Rather than IAM roles. So the options are. Option A. True. Option B. False. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. So the right answer is option B. False. It is always better to assign roles. Following the least privilege model. IAM roles grant each user a unique set of security credentials. Let's move to next question. So the next question is. True or false? Availability zones in a given region are connected by low latency links. Facilitating the development of fault tolerant. High availability applications. So the options are. Option A. True. Option B. False. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. So the right answer is option A. True. Availability zones offer you the ability to operate production applications and databases which are more highly available. Fault tolerant and scalable than would be possible from a single data center. Let's move to next question. So the next question is. You have a custom VPC for your organization. 
you discover that one of your developers has created an RDS instance in the default VPC and this is in violation of company policy. You need to create this RDS instance inside your custom VPC with as little effort as possible. What should you do? So the options are. Option A. Use the RDS import export wizard to migrate the RDS instance across to the custom VPC. Option B. Use AWS database migration service. Option C. Take a snapshot of your DB instance in the default VPC and restore it to VPC by specifying the DB subnet group you want to use in your custom VPC. Option D. Use the command house RDS MVD name. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is option C. Because the easiest way would be to take a snapshot of your DB instance outside VPC and restore it to VPC by specifying the DB subnet group you want to use. Let's move to next question. So the next question is. You are working for a real estate company and you need to be able to record configuration changes to Amazon RDS DB instances. DB subnet groups. DB snapshots. DB security groups and event subscriptions. What AWS service should you use to achieve this? Now your options are Option A CloudTrail Option B CloudWatch Option C Cloud Audit Option D AWS Config Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5 4 3 2. 1. So the right answer is option D. You can use AWS Config to continuously record configurations changes to Amazon RDS DB instances. DB subnet groups. DB snapshots. DB security groups. And event subscriptions and receive notification of changes through Amazon Simple Notification Service, SNS. Let's move to next question. So now the next question is. Which AWS service should you use to host MySQL? MariaDB. Oracle. SQL Server. Or PostgreSQL database where you do not need to manage the underlying operating system. Now your options are. Option A. DynamoDB. Option B. RDS. Option C. Aurora. Option D. EC2 with EBS. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option B. Let's move to next question. So the next question is. You have an RDS database that has moderate I.O. requirements. Which storage medium would be best to accommodate these requirements? Now your options will be. Option A. Amazon RDS provisioned IOPS, SSD, storage. Option B. Amazon RDS general purpose, SSD, storage. Option C. Amazon RDS magnetic storage. Option D. Amazon RDS cold storage. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. So the right answer is option B. Amazon RDS general purpose, SSD, storage would be the most suitable. Let's move to next question. Question is. The large manufacturing company you work for is interested in moving their production estate to AWS. They run a Joomla store which utilizes MySQL on the back end. Currently. They also use clustered MySQL databases in an active-passive configuration at a single site. By moving to AWS they want an active-passive configuration across two geographically distinct locations. With automatic failover between the two. As their solutions architect. Which of the following RDS options should you recommend? So the options are. Option A. Multi-AZ. Option B. Read replicas. Option C. Cross-region replication. Option D. 
cross region failover. Please select your answer in the next 5 sec. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is option A. To automatically failover from one geographic location to another you should use multi-AZ for RDS. Thank you for watching this video watch other parts for more.